Well, our business editor, Kate Moody, is in Davos. I spoke to her getting some analysis of Ursula von der Leyen's speech. A lot of these things that she was discussing have in fact already been announced, but they're really being highlighted here because it's such an international platform here. Uh, Ursula von der Leyen saying that this is really a defining moment for democracies around the world. It's a war that puts the entire international order into question question. Um, as you said there, we, she, she was talking a lot about addressing the cost and consequences of Vladimir Putin's war in Ukraine, uh, saying that his playbook comes directly out of another country. Uh, the EU has already proposed this unprecedented financial aid, uh, not just immediate support in terms of, uh, of weapons and budget support for Ukraine to be able to keep running as it is, but a lot of focus on this reconstruction fund that's going to be jointly run by Kyiv and Brussels. Uh, and one of the things that has struck me, not just during von der Leyen's speech, but really all the speeches that we've heard from participants here at the World Economic Forum, is this confidence, really, that somehow Ukraine will emerge victorious, certainly damaged, certainly in need of a lot of re reconstruction, uh, needing a lot of international support starting immediately, but that it will, in fact, emerge uh, as an independent country going forward albeit one that will need to rise from the ashes. That was the phrase that von der Leyen used. Uh, she did also address the rising price of energy, the rising inflation, which she says is a direct consequence of the war in Ukraine there. Uh, she said that the EU needs to create more sustainable supply chains. Uh, and she said that Moscow is really weaponizing its energy supplies. And it's just another reason that the EU is working even faster to try to become less dependent on Russian energy.